Hey everybody, Garden Sound, Flower the Bird, here with another video for you. Today we're going to be doing something that was requested of me a lot uh, recently, and that is a video on my top five plugins. So I'm going to let Lila crawl around the desk, that she clearly wants to do that. So today I'm going to be doing a video on my top five plugins. Now this is going to be plugins that I use regularly. Now I'm not going to be doing the top five most expensive plugins that I own or anything like that. Just my top five plugins. This is not going to be limited to audio effect plugins. It can also be a VST instrument. Um, so it's going to be just, you know, my top, you know what, let's redo the title. Top five VSTs, either audio plugins or instruments. Here we go. Don't leave me a comment telling me it's not an audio plugin. We covered that. Don't do it. What are you doing? Lila is eating my synthesizers. Got an audio track and a MIDI track ready to go. In terms of MIDI tracks, all right, my favorite of all... Stop eating, you're eating my instrument. Stop it. This is gonna be a hard video to film. You can see I've got quite a few VSTs, quite a few plugins. Um, and my favorite one of all time, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, is probably Saturn. Um, Saturn is, in my opinion, the absolute best um, of, of all distortion plugins. I mean, this thing is so rad, it looks great, it's easy to use, and it's made by FabFilter. Thanks a lot, GeForce Experience, just go away. If you'd like a more in-depth review of this particular plugin or other FabFilter plugins, go check out White Sea Studios, I've linked them below. The reason I have Saturn on this list is because it's my most used plugin. I use this for all sorts of stuff. Whether it's just a bit of saturation sometimes I use on a subwoofer, uh, sometimes I use it just as straight, like, crunchy distortion for my guitar. Um, bypassing one of the other plugins on this list, which is Guitar Rig, and that's a great segue into my second most used plugin, Guitar Rig. This is Guitar Rig. Now, Guitar Rig is a really interesting plugin because it's like a bunch of small plugins inside of a container. Um, you have all these awesome guitar amps and bass amps and styles, and just look at all these components in here. I mean, it's just racks on racks of cool stuff that you can add on to anything and use as effects on their own. You can build chains with it. People who use Reason are going to find this interface very comforting um, because it's just drag and drop like this and you get to reroute things just like you would in Reason. Um, it's really nice to use. It's also got my favorite guitar effect of all time, which is Clean Cave. I mean, honestly, um, there are very few things I would recommend just based on a preset, but Clean Cave, I use this all the time when I'm making chill wave. It is my number one used reverb plugin. I sometimes don't even use reverb in Ableton, but that's a great segue to my third most used plugin of all time. And that is gonna be six seconds, one of the presets, Ableton's default reverb plugin. I use it all the time. I love this thing. And it's part of the package. It's free, it's right here. Free, I mean, you know, free with Ableton. So if you purchase Ableton Suite, you get this, six seconds, absolutely essential. Now these next two are gonna be a bit strange. One of them is an EQ plugin. Again, it's a FabFilter plugin. It's FabFilter Pro-Q. It's really easy to use, and this is Pro-Q ones, because I don't have the money for Pro-Q two, which is even better. Um, but it's, it's, it's super easy to use. Um, you can clearly see what's going on here. Just keep adding nodes by clicking. Uh, you can make things all sorts of weird shapes. Um, it's got all these cool looking graphics on it. It's super user friendly. Um, you can do left, right, super easy. It's great. It's super awesome. I use it on every single track I make. Honestly, I can't recommend FabFilter enough. Um, their Pro L is also an industry standard limiter. If you don't have any of FabFilter's plugins, I recommend that you just go download their entire bundle right now. It's not that expensive and you get a lot for what it's worth. And I probably need to do an entire episode on just the software sense that I use, but my favorite one at the moment, it's definitely going to be Monarch. Um, Monarch is currently my favorite synthesizer to use. Um, it'll probably be replaced by the Behringer Model D that's coming out pretty soon that I have pre-ordered. Um, and uh, the reason for it is it's just a very, very simple Minimog, uh, Minimog clone. I mean, it's clearly a Minimog Model D clone in software format. It sounds great. I use it on every single video game track that I've ever written. Um, it's, uh, and it's easy, again, it's easy to use. It's, you'll find that my favorite things are the things that are easy to use because I don't like to f around with trying to figure out how something works when I'm trying to create. Because my process is very much hear it in my head, make the track. I don't like there to be a lot of distance between hearing something and getting it into the computer. If you're looking for something a bit more generative, this might be limiting for you. 
If you're someone like me that values efficiency, simplicity, and functionality over complexity, then this is gonna be the type of thing for you. So there you go, my list consists of one default Ableton plugin, two Fab Filter plugins, and two Native Instruments plugins. I'd be curious to know what your plugins are. I'd like to know what you use. What are your essential plugins? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, if any of yours line up with what I use, I'd like to know that too. But as always, my name's Garden Sound, and this is Lila the Bird. Thanks for watching.